What's going on, Jets fans? Welcome into NYJ today. I got a week one game preview for you guys. Jets traveling to the Carolina Panthers. It's going to be Sam Darnold versus his old team, the New York Jets. He wants revenge. Don't get it twisted. This is not just another game for him. He wants it bad. And I don't care what the New York Jets say. Robert Sala, Joe Douglas, they willingly traded him away. They do not want to lose this game to him. So I'm going to go over all of the key matchups, some of the things that I think will be important for the New York Jets to do to be able to win the game, and then ultimately my predictions for this week one showdown. Let's get after it. Before I get into the video, if I could get you all to please jet up the like button on this video. And if you're new here and you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Guys and gals, we got the Jets versus the Panthers. I am giddy over here. We've got real football that actually counts. And let's just not waste any time. Sam Darnold versus the New York Jets. It's been long discussed all offseason. We've been waiting for this moment. The NFL did not screw around. They knew that this was a big, big game, and they are just sticking it right at week one. They want, and everybody in the NFL, I would say, wants to watch this game and see how it all unfolds. It's going to be very, very interesting to see what kind of game Sam Darnold can play versus his old team. You know, is he going to let the game kind of play itself out, or is he going to force things? Is he going to kind of push the ball where it shouldn't be, which he's kind of done with the Jets in the past? But is he going to push it a little bit too much because he wants to win this game and he wants to make them the Jets look bad? So that part is very interesting to me right off the bat. I want to know what kind of game are we going to see from Sam Darnold? Is he going to be super aggressive or is he just going to play within the offense? I'm very much interested in seeing that. I think that's one of the key things to look for in this game. There are a couple of battles that are going to take place on the football field that I think will ultimately determine who wins and who loses. And I'm going to start right away with the line of scrimmage. The New York Jets defensive line, without Carl Lawson, they still need to create pressure on Sam Darnold. I know that's going to be the case every single week, but it's even more so when you're playing against a guy like Christian McCaffrey, when you're facing wide receivers that have tremendous speed in Robbie Anderson, DJ Moore, Terrence Marshall out of LSU. This offense has a ton of very, very... Uh, talented wide receivers and running backs that can make big, big plays on the football field. So if the New York Jets are not getting that pass rush in there consistently, I think it could spell a long, long day for this Jets defense. Luckily, though, the Panthers offensive line to begin the year, it's not looking good at all. They lost their starting right guard due to the COVID protocols. He's going to miss the game. And so they now have a backup guard replacing this guy. And so when you take a look at this offensive line, they have Pat Elfline as well on that offensive line. And it's just something that I think we all need to be paying attention to. Can Quinn and Williams bounce back from his injury during the offseason and disrupt the offensive game plan for the Carolina Panthers? Sheldon Rankins, we've seen him go against Pat Elfline when he was with the Minnesota Vikings. Can he generate a pass rush in the interior of this, you know, defensive line? Ultimately, players like Jonathan Franklin Myers, Bryce Huff, uh, the Shaq Lawson, whom we just traded for, these guys need to get home. The interior rush is going to be very, very strong, and I think that's where the double teams are going to be coming from when the offensive line is uh, pass protecting for Sam Darnold. So the edge needs to be able to create some pass rush to force Sam Darnold to step up into that pocket. They need to keep him contained. If he's rolling around all over the, you know, the field, that could also spell danger for this Jets defense. I'm going to flip this uh, also as well, the line of scrimmage. The Panthers have a very, very strong defensive line. They, they have spent numerous picks on that defensive line, high draft picks, to increase the pass rush to stop the run. They drafted Derrick Brown out of Auburn in the first round in the 2020 draft. They drafted Brian Burns as well. He's a very, very extremely fast edge rusher. It's going to be very, very interesting to see how they game plan to protect the edge because if Zach Wilson doesn't get time, we could see some rookie mistakes. And ultimately, that's one of the biggest takeaways right away 
is can the New York Jets pass protect for Zach Wilson and can the Carolina Panthers offensive line pass protect for Sam Darnold? So what would happen if the New York Jets didn't get pass rush on Sam Darnold? Well, that's kind of what I was talking about earlier with those speedy wide receivers. We are extremely, extremely young in the secondary. We have Javelin Guidry, who is very, very young, who's probably the starting slot cornerback. We have Brandon Eccles, who looks like he's going to start week one, who's a rookie. We also have Bryce Hall, who's a second-year cornerback. I mean, I think you get the drift here. We've got a bunch of first- and second-year guys in that secondary playing pretty much all game long. And so if we are not getting home at the, or excuse me, at the point of attack, it could be a long, long day because those wide receivers can burn down the field, and they can move. And they they're good short and, and inter, excuse me short and intermediate routes. I think Robbie Anderson, you know, early on in his career was pegged as a only a deep ball wide receiver, and we saw last year. You know, he caught numerous balls, and you know the yards per reception kind of came down because they had him doing all kinds of routes, drags, you know, in cutting and out cutting routes, not necessarily just going down the field. DJ Moore out of Maryland, dude can kill with his speed. And then Terrence Marshall is a bigger guy, also fast. Uh, you know, it could it could be a big, big problem if the Jets don't get a pass rush. Same thing for the Carolina Panthers. They have a secondary that is, you know, pretty good. They have Jeremy Chin, who was very, very good as a rookie. They just drafted J.C. Horn. I believe it was eighth overall. So they have talent in that secondary. But if Zach Wilson has time... I am willing to bet that he will be able to dissect this defense and, you know, get after it. I mean, we have some good wide receivers, too. Elijah Moore has got to make his debut. He didn't play in the preseason. Corey Davis, they looked like they were in sync in that week two preseason game versus the uh, Green Bay Packers. Denzel Mims, I think he'll get involved. Keelan Cole is probably the starting outside wide receiver opposite Corey Davis. So he's going to get involved. So... I'm very excited to see how the receivers can match up against the secondaries in this football game. Last but not least, I think one of the last key matchups that I'm going to be looking for is our running game and the Carolina Panthers running game. If we're able to get some running game going, if we're able to clip off a couple of, you know, first down runs of 10 to 15 yards or more, and, you know, and get the, the play action game going, I think that's when you're going to see the New York Jets not only you know getting a lot of yards in the football game, but also scoring in the red zone, making big plays happen. That's what this offense is all about. It's predicated off of the running game and building off of that with the play action pass. So if we are able to get the running game going, I think that spells really, really good things for the New York Jets. The opposite, if we are not running the football very well, I think that is going to be a problem. Carolina Panthers, I think that if they don't have a strong running game, I think that's something that they can kind of live with because Christian McCaffrey is so multi, excuse me, multifaceted that even if the running game's not going for the Carolina Panthers, they can move McCaffrey all over the formation. This is a running back who can play wide receiver, so they can motion him to play wide receiver. They can have him running routes in the backfield. So our young linebackers are going to be challenged right away by one of the best, if not the best, running backs in the National Football League. Jamie and Sherwood, Hamza Nasril Dean, they are going to be put to the test right away. And honestly, I'm putting a lot on CJ Mosley's plate this week one game. He needs to make sure that these guys know their assignments and do what they need to do in order to help contain Christian McCaffrey because there's no way we're going to completely stifle him. We just have to hope that we can contain him from being an absolute game wrecker. Ultimately, I have the New York Jets winning this football game 28-24 to versus the Carolina Panthers. This is going to be a very close game. It's going to be back and forth. It could even be more high scoring than what I predicted. And it also could be one of those situations where we're sitting here watching this game in complete agony. Because it's going to be one of those games where I think it gets decided late in the game. Fourth quarter. I think a crucial mistake could be made. And that will be ultimately what determines this football game. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say in the comments. Please load it up with your takes. If you disagree or agree with any of mine, please let me know and I will read and respond to all of them. I hope you guys are fired up for week one as much as I am. And I just cannot wait to get this season finally underway. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching NYJ Today. 
Guys, if you could do me a favor and jet up the like button on this video, and if you're new here and you've enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go Jets, and I'll see you guys next time.